हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द चैनल फूड कीड़ा सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हैसअप एच ए सी सी पी हैसअप सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट इज हैसअप प्लान हैसअप इज हजार्ड एनालिसिस एंड क्रिटिकल कंट्रोल पॉइंट हैसअप इज अ सिस्टमेटिक प्रिवेंटिव अप्रोच टू फूड सेफ्टी सो दैट द फिनिश प्रोडक्ट टू बी सेफ सो बिफोर मूविंग टू द हैसअप प्लान लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म्स दीज आर फिजिकल केमिकल और बायोलॉजिकल हजार्ड्स फिजिकल हजार्ड्स आर द ऑब्जेक्ट्स विच कंटेमिनेट योर फूड सच एज पीसीज ऑफ ग्लास और मेटल टूथपिक ज्वेलरी और हेयर केमिकल आर द हार्मफुल सब्सटांसेज सच एज पेस्टिसाइड्स और मशीन ऑयल एक्सेट्रा एंड इन बायोलॉजिकल हजार्ड्स दैट इंक्लूड्स बैक्टीरिया फंजाए वायरसेस सो दीज आर बायोलॉजिकल हजार्ड्स लेट्स डिस्कस दिस स्टेप एंड प्रिंसिपल ऑफ हैसअप फर्स्ट स्टेप इज कंडक्ट अ हजार्ड एनालिसिस सेकेंड इज डिटर्मिन द क्रिटिकल कंट्रोल पॉइंट्स थर्ड इज एस्टेब्लिश क्रिटिकल लिमिट्स एंड देन फोर्थ एस्टेब्लिश मोनिटरिंग प्रोसीजर्स फिफ्थ इज एस्टेब्लिश करेक्टिव एक्शंस सिक्स्थ वेरिफिकेशन एंड लास्ट सेवेंथ इज रिकॉर्ड कीपिंग एंड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन लेट्स डिस्कस ईच प्रिंसिपल इन डिटेल फर्स्ट इज कंडक्ट अ हजार्ड एनालिसिस सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इन डेवलपिंग अ हैसअप प्लान इज टू कंडक्ट अ हजार्ड एनालिसिस दिस इन्वॉल्व एवेलुएटिंग पोटेंशियल हजार्ड्स दैट मे अराइज ड्यूरिंग फूड प्रेपरेशन प्रोसेसिस so during the hazard analysis you will want to identify where biological chemical or physical hazards are likely to occur so these are especially important when you are working with tcs foods tcs food is the food that require time and temperature control for safety for example raw chicken breast is the often prepped grilled and served in the same day the potential danger with chicken is that bacteria may be present in the finished product if it is not cooked correctly so bacteria are a potential biological hazard in this case second principle is determine critical control points once you have analyzed potential hazards it is important to identify where hazards contamination can occur so at this time we will want to find specific steps in the process where you can prevent remove or reduce the hazards to a safe level what is critical control point so critical control point is the point in time in which you must apply control in order to eliminate possible food safety hazards so common critical points include receiving food from your supplier then storing the food before preparation handling and preparing food cooking and reheating food holding hot and cold food during service these are some critical control points for example cooking raw chicken breast is the only step where bacteria can be eliminated or reduced to a safe level therefore cooking raw chicken can be identified as ccp now third step is establish critical limits for each step identified as ccp we need to establish a maximum or minimum limit that must be met to remove or reduce the hazard to a safe level for example in order to kill bacteria raw chicken need to be cooked to an internal temperature of 165 degrees for 15 seconds so this minimum of 165 degrees for 15 second is the critical limit Now this critical limit can be met by cooking the chicken on grill for appropriate amount of time. Fourth principle or fourth step is establish monitoring procedures. So after establish the critical point we need to provide the employees with the way to check that each limit has been met. So putting monitoring procedure in place is the most effective way to identify where when and with whom something may have gone wrong. The best way to monitor the chicken is to use a cleaned and sanitized prop thermometer to record the temperature at the thickest part of the chicken. So each piece of the chicken cooked on the grill must meet the minimum internal temperature of 165 degrees for 15 seconds. Fifth is a establish corrective actions. So if a critical limit is not met during the process, so it is called deviation. so when deviation occurs we need to have the tools and knowledge to take corrective actions and ensure the contaminated food never reach the end consumer 
So the steps of corrective action should be determine the cause of deviation, correct it if possible and then documenting the deviation. For example, if after checking the chicken with a thermometer, it is found that food is not up to the temperature. So even though it was cooked for the appropriate amount of time, then the chicken must continue to cook until it has reached the crit critical limit of 165 degrees. So this additional cooking should be recorded. Sixth step is the verification. So re-evaluate and revise the HACCP plan periodically to ensure its effectiveness. During this step, all the records, documentation, monitoring charts are reviewed. In this step, all the charts, records, documentations are checked. They'll help you determine whether or not your plan successfully prevents, reduces or removes food safety hazard. For example, you can review temperature monitoring charts after each shift to ensure that critical limit for the chicken was met every time. Seventh step is record keeping and documentation. So keeping records allow you to stay organized and effectively respond to food safety hazards. That's why developing procedure for accurate record keeping is the final stage of implementing a HACCP plan. So this is all about seven principles of HACCP plan. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe.